Alright, so, the Hidden War Battle Pass, released on August 5th of 2021. As usual, it had a free track that everybody could get rewards from, and a premium track you could buy for 499 credits. Just like the last ones, the Battle Pass had 100 levels with various rewards. To level up, you had to do weekly or daily challenges. But unlike the last Battle Passes, this did not include any body skins. Instead, we got cards on levels that otherwise would have been empty. Unfortunately, this was the last Battle Pass to do this. Because after this, they completely reworked the Battle Pass system. And I may or may not end up making a video about this, but TLDR, the new Battle Passes suck, and Hidden War was the last good one we've had. Anyway, on a positive note, this Battle Pass was truly great. It had some of the best skins and rewards overall. So I guess let's talk about the rewards now. There were only three charms, sadly. But at least all three looked really good. The spike ball is honestly kinda cute. And the other two being this amazingly detailed skull, and this thing that has particle effects by the way, makes these rank just a little below the swarm charms. There were a bunch of achievements too, and they look pretty cool. And then there were the skins. Oh boy, the skins! So, we got two skin series. Pyrite and Hidden War. Pyrite is this crystal looking shining skin with animated backgrounds. It is of course inspired by the look of Pyrite in the real world, which is really neat. I honestly really like these skins. And Hidden War is a series where all of the skins are unique and have new gun models. Look at all these. The colors, the cover on the weapons, how stealthy they look. Did I mention the colors? I'm not gonna look at all these separately, but they all look really good. I also want to quickly touch on the last two rewards, those being this knife and this revolver. Both of these, as far as I know, are their own weapons. These are not skins, these are unique weapons. And they look really good. I love the idea of that being a thing. However, when these first came out, they were some of the buggiest weapons. And well, they still kind of are. The knife's secondary attack had a weird delay on it that didn't align with the animation. Well, but this was mostly fixed. And the revolver... Well, the way it fires just feels really off. And also, none of the attachments fit the skin. I mean, you'd never even want to aim down with this weapon. But for some reason, you can't unequip them to make the gun look good. But sometimes you can? Like, I don't know, this whole weapon is just weird. And well, that's kind of it. Remember how I said there were no body skins in this battle pass? Well, I wasn't lying but there were cosmetics made for specifically the Hidden War theme. And these were promised to be added in a future part of the update, and well, they were. But you were not actually able to get them. That is, until the next Battle Pass, Origins, where we got special constructs for them. Yeah, I have no clue why these were released so late, but hey, at least they were released. Because we were promised various charms and other cosmetics that never actually came out. We also did not get a special operation for the theme. Instead, we got these so-called agents, who were basically body skins with some cosmetics attached to them. And in concept, that is not a bad idea. However, half of the weapon skins and charms that got revealed never made it in-game. And the only way you could get the remaining things is either from random boxes or overpriced direct purchase. Yeah, I think you can start to see how much of a mess this update was. The update was split into three parts, but as I said, they didn't release a lot of what was showed off. If I had to guess, there were most likely some changes made in the dev team of Warface, since this is also around the time when Ivan left the team from Community Manager. And after this battle pass, everything kind of started to go downhill. And the two themes we got after that, that being Origins and Snowstorm, were both honestly pretty disappointing updates. If it continues to be like this, I'm not really sure if I'll make Warface content anymore. Yeah, sorry, that got a little out of hand there. The battle pass itself was still pretty good, mostly because the skin's being amazing. I might make a few more videos related to Warface, but as of now I'm very unsure. So yeah, Hidden War was still great, and I'm really proud of myself for completing it. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.